Okay, now we want to talk about the next tab over, and that's going to be our filters. So we've talked about filters before. These are adding blur and uh, various attributes to your layer stack to create a more unique look inside your individual layer. So inside your mask, you'll add some blurring and things like that. So I'm not going to dig too much in this, but I do want to point out something. So first off, let's just add some aluminum to this and just make keep it nice and clean and basic. Uh, very, very simple. In fact, this isn't anything other than a white color, all the way metallic and the roughness set to 0 0.2. But if we step on over here into our filters, you're going to scroll down and see a bunch of material finishes that have to do with different types of metal. And I find these really, really beneficial. So there's like brushed metal, which I can just drag and drop in here. And this is actually going to create a uh, fresh brand new stack. So or a fresh new layer, I should say. And you can bring down that intensity. You can increase the scale. Uh, and you can add different elements to your metal disc, which is really, really, really helpful. Uh, the grain's a little bit much. Let's go and take that one down. We do a hammered metal, which is nice. And again, you can adjust the scale, the uh, intensity detail, all that kind of good stuff on it. Make it more like Epcot Center. Uh, another one that I really like is just either the rough or the raw. Now the rough is is really a nice like galvanized metal. It just helps break up that specular highlight the way that we would like. You can increase and decrease the intensity of that. You can warp it around, um, do all that kind of good stuff. And then last but not least, we've got our metal rough, which again, it's a little bit intense coming out of the gate depending on the scale of your object, but you can pull that down um, and increase the scale like that too. So I just really like these for giving a more believable look to our metal materials. And again, you can go through and, and, and look through all these on your own, but those are the ones that I generally use the most on top of, you know, just doing things like blurring materials and, and, and glowing things up and adding gradients and, um, you know, just the HSL perspective when I want to shift a hue of a color or something like that. Invert is also a big one. Uh, but yeah, but those are the basics of, of adding a filter and how I use them. Uh, next up, we're going to dive into the brushes a little bit.